Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I am working on a mini canvas. I actually did four mini canvases and hopefully the footage is good on all four of them. I will share them eventually. Um, but this is the first one I did and I'm just putting a layer of mixing white by Liquitex on here. And then the paints I'm using will be from Hippie Crafter, except for this white. Um, they were for a little fundraiser for our family reunions. People could bid on them and raise a little money for you know, the food and supplies that were purchased. Not that they raised a lot of money, but it was just fun. You know, I'm like, eh, something I could do really easy. So I bought me a package of mini canvases. And yeah, I wanted to do pink and orange on here because I've been liking the way pink and orange has been mixing but apparently not these two pink and orange colors They're kind of brownish and you lose the pink probably because it's a darker pink so I decided to add I was using the mixing white and decided to add some more and hopefully it will lighten up that pink and make it more like what I want. And of course, you know, I mix it with my brush, which is not the best. And that is pretty transparent pink, and that might be part of my issue. But I just wanted to get that on in the background. The idea is for that to look like a sunset on water. Yeah. Too much paint on my little brush. Just going around and getting all the edges. Oh, one more side. Don't forget. You know, and when you're painting, you can always do the sides later, a solid color, or try to wrap as you're painting. There we go. Okay. So I let that dry. Oh, well, apparently I'm not done with my pink yet. So I'm adding a lot of white and a little bit of pink and doing the no-no mixing with my paintbrush because so I want more pink showing up. If you really want it to stand out you would use like a titanium white that is opaque but I was using what was sitting there. <laughs> All right. Now it's dry. Does it look like a sunset? I hope so. So now I'm taking white, and this is just a, um, this is the Hippie Crafter white paint. I'm trying to thin it a little bit so I can get a nice thin line. I'm not very good with the thin lines, and I'm so hard on my brushes. I just threw away probably this one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, one of my thin line brushes, I had left it in the water too long and it just destroyed the bristles. So I was like, yeah, it's only got three bristles to begin with. There's no cure. So I've got to do better at taking care of my paintbrushes. <laughs> and if you can't tell, those are really tall sailboats. And just a simple little painting. And then they're supposed to be facing, I don't know, either towards us or away from us. So head on and not profile. So that's the bottom of the boat.
I'm going to add a little bit of reflection in the water. See, I'm getting out more orange and a little bit of red. I think I kind of wanted just a little bit more dark in there because it's really, there's no drama, drama. So I do that and I still feel like there's not enough drama. So I've pulled out a little bit of black and thought I would create some shadows. I'm trying to make it inky so it'll be thin. And then I get carried away. You know how you do. You're like, ooh, we like shadow. Let's just keep going for it. Mm. Yeah. So that happened. <laughs> I'm way too carried away with that black. <laughs> I'm still going. I haven't learned my lesson yet. Alright. So, the black, I believe, is now dry. And I decide... And maybe it's not even dry, I don't know. I decide to try and cover it up with some orange paint. Still working on it. <laughs> we'll just consider that black undertone, right? It's just got a dark undertone. Apparently I thought I needed another layer of orange.
added some red trying to get some of that darker back in and then I decided to do this I thought maybe not black but something brownish <laughs> to create some shading and some drama I don't know maybe it's a little bit better than the black was it's all good I just can't help myself with that dark color, can I? <laughs> so I don't have a picture at the end of this because I well, I took one of all four. Maybe I'll add that. And then um, I didn't take an individual picture because I didn't even think about it before I um, gave it to them to auction off. So don't have an individual picture but it was fun just doing a little mini painting I mean I it took me a long time to do it because I fiddled but um, really when you do something this size there's not a lot of pressure I'm trying to get those cells as white as possible But I hope you liked that. I'll show you the picture of the four and you can see the other ones that will soon be coming. And I hope you liked my little video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up or comment. Just keep adding more white, trying to get those to stand out. And there we go. I hope you liked that. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.